Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nuta, the Crochet Ball. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a disc cloth. Here it is. It looks like this from the back and the front. Here it is. And for this particular project, I've used my 100% cotton yarn. And here for this first color we're gonna start on this first color and for this first color I have used around 80 to 90 grams of my this yarn and then I have used the second color on this borders so that's a small amount of yarn uh, around 10 to 10, 20 grams again and as I said I've used my 100% cotton yarn and for this project I've used a 5 mm of the hook so let's begin so here it is, we will start with a slip knot. So have your yarn and have a slip knot here. And now we're gonna chain up 30, three, zero. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, 28, 29, and 30. So here it is, I've got my this 30 chains and now we're gonna turn our work. So turn your chains here and we're gonna work at the back of this chains. Now this is the back part of your first chain, this is the back bum of your first chain and this is the back part of your second chain. We are going to go to this second chain, so skip to this first chain, go to the second chain, insert your hook into the back part of your the second chain, grab your yarn and have a slip stitch here. So your first stitch will be a slip stitch and now yarn over and go to this next chain. So this is the back part of your next chain, we will go to this next chain and yarn over and insert your hook into this next chain grab your yarn you're gonna have three loops yarn over and spool your yarn through three loops on your hook so here it is and this is your half double crochet and we're gonna repeat over this pattern all the way on over this row row number one until the end of our chains so again we will go to this next chain this one insert your hook into this next chain grab your yarn and have a slip stitch yarn over go to this next chain insert your hook into this next chain grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops here it is so one slip stitch one half double crochet one slip stitch one half double crochet again go to this next stitch insert your hook grab your yarn and have a slip stitch yarn over go to this next stitch insert your hook grab your yarn and have a half double crochet here it is and your work will look like this now keep on repeating this pattern all the way until the end of this chains for this row row number one and whenever you're doing this slip stitches this one insert your hook into this next stitch grab a yarn and have a slip stitch while you're doing this slip stitch just remember to have your hands loose on your this hook do not have your slip stitch too tight so remember here i've got my this slip stitches and these are a uh, little loose slip stitches not the tight ones because the next stitch is the half double crochet and when you will go up into your, this next row you're going to work on the slip stitch so it will be difficult for you to insert your hook if you are having the slip stitch very tight so always remember to have a loose slip stitch do not tighten up your work so just leave your this hook like this um very loose and simply uh, just grab your this loop through your this next loop and here it is have your this slip stitch little loose and here it is now keep on repeating this pattern all the way until the end and your last stitch will be a slip stitch so remember your last stitch will be a slip stitch and i'm gonna meet you here and if you will count your stitches you're gonna have your 29 stitches on your this row row number one including your this slip stitches and your half double crochet you're gonna have your 29 stitches and your last stitch will be a slip stitch and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is at the end of my this row row number one it looks like this and i've got my this 29 stitches here and now this is my last stitch i've got my this last slip stitch here now for our row number two we're going to repeat simply our row number one and we're going to repeat over this row number one all the way until the end of our work so here it is just repeat this one row so now have a chain one and turn your work and now skip your this chain one this is a chain one we will go to this first stitch now this is the slip stitch from our previous round and we're going to insert our hook into our the slip stitch here it is 
And just as I said, we are going to repeat our round number one here for our, this round number two. Just yarn over and grab your yarn through your other slip stitch and have a slip stitch here. So remember, your first stitch will always be a slip stitch and your last stitch will always be a slip stitch on our this work. And here it is. This is our round number one and we got our this first slip stitch here. Now we will go to this second stitch and your second stitch will be a half double crochet so on top of your this slip stitch you're going to have a slip stitch and on top of your this half double crochet you're going to have a half double crochet so here go to this next stitch yarn over and insert your hook into this next stitch and grab your yarn you're going to have three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through three loops again go to this next stitch and that's why i said that always have your slip stitch a little loose because if you will have the slip stitch tight enough it will be difficult for you to insert your hook into like this and grab your yarn. So here it is. Have your this next slip stitch. And always remember to have your this slip stitch a little loose like this. And now yarn over and go to this next stitch. Insert your hook, grab your yarn and have your half double crochet. So simply repeat your pattern. One slip stitch, one half double crochet, one slip stitch, one half double crochet all the way until here on your this row, row number two. And again, your this last stitch will be a slip stitch. So keep on repeating your row number one on this row number two again. And I'm going to meet you at the end of my this row number two. And remember, again, on this row number two, you're going to have your 29 stitches. So all the way until our required length, we're going to have 29 stitches on each row. And here it is. I've got my this 28 stitches and my last stitch, my 29th stitch on my this row number two will be my slip stitch. So here it is. I'm going to insert my hook into my this last stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch here. And here it is. This is the end of my row number two. And it looks like this. Now keep on repeating your row number one until your row number 34. So I'm going to go up to my row number 34. If you want to go ahead, you can go ahead. If you want to have a, a smaller size, you can reduce a number of stitches or you can reduce your number of rows as well. So that's completely optional. I'm going to go up to my row number 34 and I'm going to meet you after my row number 34. So just keep on repeating your row number one until your required length. And I'm going to meet you after my row number 34. And here it is. After my row number 34, it looks like this. And now I'm going to... I'm here uh, this is my last slip stitch and now I'm gonna have a chain one here and I'm gonna cut my yarn secure this last stitch just like this and now hide your this all this two ends in and I'm gonna meet you after that because we're gonna work on the border now so here it is it looks like this and now we will work on this border so for that I'm just gonna insert my hook into this space here on this corner here like this and I'm gonna grab my yarn so now remember we are working on this side here this is my last stitch I have made my last stitch here and I'm gonna work on this here left hand side so here it is and this is the bottom part so this is my foundation chains and this is my last row here on this side so here it is I have inserted my this hook here I've grabbed my yarn and now here I'm going to have a chain one. Now this chain one will not count as any stitch. I'm going to insert my hook again into my this same stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have two single crochets here. Just like this. And now we will go to this space here. So just next to your this first row, this is your first row. Next to your this first row, you're going to find your this space here, this one going to insert our hook into this space and grab the yarn and have one single crochet here. Now we will go to this space, our next space, insert your hook, grab the yarn and have one single crochet here. Again, go to this next space, this one, insert your hook grab a yarn and have one single crochet here now keep on having your one single crochet on each space here now the space this one these spaces are of a one row so we are going to have one single crochet on each row so here we're going to have our 34 single crochets and i'm going to meet you at the end here so keep on having a 34 stitches and i'm going to meet you at the end somewhere here 
and here it is we got over this 34 stitches now remember we have one extra stitch here so this is my 34 stitch and i'm here on my the second last row and i will go to this last row and will insert my hook and we'll have my this 35th stitch and i will insert my hook again into that same space and we'll have my 36th stitch so here it is we got our 36 stitches on over this row now we're going to turn our work and here it is this is my foundation chain so we're going to work on this foundation chains now here before working on our this foundation chain we're going to chain up eight so here it is it's one two three four five six seven and eight here it is we got over this eight chains now you can plus or minus your chains uh depending on what loop size you want so i'm gonna have my this eight chains if you want to go for 10 chains you can go for it it's not an issue now here it is this is my first stitch this is my first foundation chain i'm gonna go to this first foundation chain after my this eight chains and i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch my first foundation chain and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have one single crochet here here it is like this and here i'm gonna have another single crochet just like this enough keep on having one single crochet on each stitch until your second last stitch so here it is you're gonna work on this 27 stitches in between because we have our 29 stitches here so our first stitch will have two single crochets and our last stitch will have another two single crochets so in between this first and last stitches we're gonna have 21 stitches in between here and we're going to have one single crochet on each stitch on each foundation chain so here it is this is my two stitches on my this first stitch now onwards i'm going to have one single crochet on each stitch so this is my second stitch and i'm going to insert my hook into my the second stitch and we'll crack the yarn and we'll have one single crochet here go to this next stitch insert your hook and have one single crochet here go to this next one insert your hook and have your one single crochet here and keep on having one single crochet on each chain until your second last chain and i'm gonna meet you on my this last chain and we'll have two single crochets on that so here it is it will look like this so keep on having your one single crochet on each stitch so here it is in total i got my this 29 stitches here including my this two single crochets on this first stitch so i got my this 29 stitches here and i'm here on my this last chain so here it is i'm gonna have my two more stitches on this last chain and it's gonna be my 30 and 31st single crochet so here it is your first and your last stitch will have one extra stitch and here it is it looks like this now we're gonna turn our work and we will work on this second side now we're gonna repeat our this pattern here so again for our first row we're gonna have two single crochets so this is our first this is our first row insert your hook into this first row and have two single crochets here it's one and two go to this next row this one and now onwards have one single crochet on each row until your next 34 stitches and your last row here you're gonna have your two single crochets here it is got my this 36 stitches here and now i'm gonna turn my work and this is my last row and here again we're gonna repeat our pattern so this is our first stitch this one insert your hook into this first stitch and have two single crochets here so it's one and two and now onwards from the second stitch until you're the second last stitch have one single crochet on each stitch and you're gonna have another 27 stitches here plus this two stitches so in total you're going to have your 29 stitches and i'm going to meet you at the end here and here it is i'm at the end i got my this 29 stitches here and this is my last stitch so i got my this 29 stitches here and now i will go to this stitch now this is my first stitch and here i'm going to have another two single crochets so here it is it's one and two and here it is it looks like this here and now we're gonna start working on over this second row and this is gonna be our last row so here i'm just gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch this is my first stitch insert your hook into this first stitch grab a yarn and have a slip stitch here so have this slip stitch this is your slip stitch this one and now go back to this stitch this one your last stitch go back to the stitch here insert your hook like this 
and yarn over and grab your yarn through your this back stitch and you're gonna have two loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through both the loops and this is your single crochet backwards and now we're gonna work on this back side so here it is you got your this first single crochet backwards and and now I'm go gonna go to this next stitch so this is my next stitch this one so I'm gonna go to this next stitch insert your hook into this next stitch and grab your yarn you're gonna have two loops on your hook yarn over ants pull your yarn through two loops this is your second single crochet backwards again go to this next stitch this is your next stitch insert your hook and grab a yarn and have one single crochet go to back this stitch this is your uh, next stitch insert your hook grab a yarn and have one single crochet now keep on having one single crochet on each stitch and remember all of your stitches will be backward stitches you're gonna work on this back way and here all the way until here so keep on working all the way your back stitches until here until you're this loop so keep on having one single crochet on each stitch remember you're working on the backwards so you're going to go to the back and i'm going to meet you here so just keep on having your the stitches all the way until here and we'll tell you what to do on your this loop and here it is it looks like this and i'm here now here this is my next stitch this is my last stitch i'm going to insert my hook into my this last stitch and we'll have a backward single crochet here it is like this and now i'm going to turn my work turn your work here and you're going to be here on top of this chain eight now here on top of this chain eight remember to have your this last single crochet here insert your hook into this loop grab a yarn and have your single crochet now here we're gonna have our 12 single crochet so here it is we got over this first single crochet two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 and 12 here it is have you this 12 single crochets here on this eight chains and now we're gonna again turn our work so turn your work and you will be again in the front and here go to this first stitch this is your first stitch insert your hook into this first stitch and grab a yarn and keep on having your this single crochets backwards so on this eight chains we're gonna have our regular single crochets and now keep on having one single crochet on each stitch all of your this single crochets will be backwards and i'm gonna meet you at the end so keep on repeating your this pattern your backward single crochet on this border on this last side and i'm gonna meet you on this last stitch and here it is I've got my this 35 stitches remember we have our 36 stitches on this side so i got my this 35 stitches here and i'm gonna have my this last stitch so that's gonna be my last stitch insert my hook into my this last stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a single crochet here backwards and now i'm just gonna cut my yarn here and i'm gonna secure my this last stitch here it is and it will be going like this so here i'm gonna have my this needle and simply insert your this needle here and attach your this work so here it is your work will be nice and clear and flawless and now just go at the back have your knot and hide your this end in i'm gonna meet you after that so here it is i'm just gonna have my this knot here to secure my this yarn and i'm gonna hide this one and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is our disc cloth is ready it looks like this here and it's done and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye